This month's cover story is just a little bit different. In an age where technology is making inroads into all areas of the road transport industry, we are introduced to a new concept that, through the use of Bluetooth smarts, has removed a physical connection with the trailer. Choosing to tag along with Gary Smith in number two was not a case of grabbing the first of the three units available. There's something a bit special about number two, and you won't pick it up until you do either your pre-start check or you're hooking up the trolley for the first time. The question will be, uh, where's the light plug? Answer, there isn't one. It's Bluetooth, courtesy of P-Tech, those Kiwi-born wonderful wiring maestros. P-Tech has forged a reputation over the past 17 years for innovative truck and trailer wiring solutions bent on ease of use and robustness. It's simple, robust and a no-brainer really, and the applications are endless. We've spent years adding plugs to trucks and now we've got rid of one, and it's just the start. It's an advanced system with real cool features and near endless possibilities. Imagine in the future leaving the trailer in a lay-by at night and shooting off to do a drop-off or a pickup, then returning back to hook up. The truck lights are on, and when the truck's about 100 metres away, all the trailer lights come on automatically. You could do a quick indicator check, tap the brakes, and then back into a lit trailer. It's the little things that really can make the big differences. We last visited our friends at Kiwi Trans more than three years ago. Since then, quite a lot's happened. The fleet has grown from 7 to 10, and soon to be 11. It has established a new depot facility in Kopu, just south of Thames, with more space, and best of all, a modest office that's far easier to find, complete with a sign out the front. 2020 was a big year for Kiwi Trans, for more reasons than just you know what. Three new Volvo FH16 9-axle truck and trailer tipping curtain side combinations drove into the yard, one after the other, enough to put a canter in anyone's step. We'll come back to the Volvos, right now it is the Demet bodies and trailer gear that we're interested in, and where we find the inner story. The reason is, they speak to the transport philosophy well entrenched into the Kiwi Trans DNA. David Melanophy was born into trucking. His father Dave Senior and Uncle Neil Melanophy founded Thames Freight Lines Limited in the early 70s, a company whose reputation was built on the back of a multitasking fleet. Today, without taking things to the extreme, curtain-sided tipping combinations represent the zenith of modern practical utility. For us, it's a matter of making the best of both worlds, says David. We have our own working customers, and then where it makes sense, we utilise the big brokerages and consolidators. That way, we can make it work for everyone. We met up with fleet number two and its driver, Gary Smith, at New Zealand Panels Copine Particle Board Mill near Thames. The unit was loaded with board for Auckland, and that was to be followed with a load of product for construction projects in the Bay of Plenty. From there, it would be on to Kaurau for a load of net logics timber to go to Patamahoe near Pukekohe before reloading for Thames X to a cow again. One and a half days work over 776 kilometres at a load factor of 88%. The big Volvo takes the uneven road surface in its stride, insulating the occupants from the reality without making them immune to its needs. It's not a hard place to work, is it, says Gary, as the Volvo lopes across the Haraki Plains. I'm still getting my head around it. In the Argosy, you had to work at it, but in this, you just don't get the impression it's working. It's just doing it so easy. The adaptive cruise is excellent. The FH interior is a familiar place for us all now. It's easy to access with the big four-step entry and its signature modern dash is easy to use and super functional. The general rule of thumb for the Kiwi Trans operation is home for the weekends, but the weekdays are a moving target. And for that reason, the Kiwi Trans trucks were built with the single-person rest spec sleepers. Both seats are air suspended and heated, and there's a 33-litre fridge installed under the bunk, as well as 154 litres of upper cab storage. At just under 50,000 kilometres clocked so far, the FH16 has recorded between 1.8 and 2.1 kilometres per litre, which is perfectly acceptable given the load factor and lack of aerodynamics associated with externally polled curtain-sided units. Gary poked the Volvo at the Bombay Hills southern end, and the slowest we saw progression was a brief stint in 8th gear at 1700 rpm and 45 kilometres per hour. Keeping in context that not so long ago, 600 horsepower was the stuff of dreams. The D16G at this setting is a beautiful modern all-round fleet engine. As David Melanophy said, they won't get tripped up regardless of assignment. I was looking for trucks that would do the job effortlessly, improving longevity and be easy to operate. Big engines working easily, so to speak. Kiwi Trans fits Trident equipment curtains, a supplier relationship that again goes back decades, and Demet has built the company several new pieces of trailing gear. Both Malcolm and Neil at Demet have been great and the product gives us no issues, says David. The bodies feature round top covers and rear doors, with the cover handle on the truck doors being a two piece unit to accommodate the opening doors. Hydraulic lift on the trailer comes in the form of a single front of body ram, which David commented saves tear weight and increases stability. 
brain spanking you with a long life ahead of them. These three new Kiwi Trans FH16 Volvos will definitely be trucks to watch. Mechanically, they're on the nail. Modern fleet spec trucks with power once thought absurd now falls into this significantly competent with caution bracket. To read the full story on these trend setting triplets, then grab a copy of the February 2021 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine on sale now. Have a fantastic month out there and travel safe. <laughs>